In the previous video, we understood what is Kirchhoff's current law. In this video, we will be understanding what is Kirchhoff's voltage law or KVL. So to understand KVL, let's get to our simulation. Before we start with our simulation, a quick shout out for the channel members. So thank you, Kameshwar Mehta and Lalam Venugopal for joining the channel membership and showing the support. Thank you so much for that. Now let's go to the simulation. So as you can see, we have a simple series circuit. We have a 10 volt EMF and two resistors, 4 ohm and 3 ohm connected in series. And to measure the voltage drop across these resistors, we have connected a voltmeter in parallel with each resistor, as you can see in the circuit. Now, let me quickly start the simulation to see the voltage drop across each resistor. So as you can see, the voltage drop across 4 ohm resistance is negative 5.71 volts and voltage drop across the 3 ohm resistance is negative 4.29 volts. Right. And if you add these two voltage drops, you will get negative 10 volts. Right. So a negative 5.71 volts plus a negative 4.29 volts. So negative negative is positive and that will give us a negative 10 volts. So if the total voltage drop in the circuit is negative 10 volt, right? And the EMF that our battery is giving is positive 10 volts. So if you add the EMF and the voltage drop, we will get zero, right? Clear? Now let's evaluate the circuit in more detail here. So as you can see the circuit, let's first list, uh, list down the EMF that we have in our circuit. So in this circuit, there is only one EMF that is 10 volts. That is our battery. And by the way, if you want to understand the difference between EMF and voltage, you can watch my video on that. You will get a link for that video down in the description or in the I button. Definitely go and check that out. That will make your confusion clear. So only one EMF we have in this circuit that is 10 volt. And the voltage drop in the circuit, we have total two voltage drop. That is VR1 that is happening across 4 ohm resistance that is negative 5.71 volts. And the second voltage drop is negative 4.29 volts which is happening across 3 ohm resistance. Now if you add these EMF and voltage drop you will get zero. So we can conclude that the sum of EMF and the sum of voltage drop in the circuit is zero. If you go one more step ahead and solve this equation here, what you can do is you can shift these negative values to the right hand side, right? So that will become neg positive 10 volts is equals to positive 10 volts. That means the sum of EMF is equals to sum of voltage drop in the circuit, right? Very simple. What we did, we uh, added all the voltage drop and then we found out that the sum of voltage drop is equals to sum of EMF in the circuit. Right? Clear? If you understood this, congrats because you have understood the Kirchhoff's voltage law. This is nothing but the Kirchhoff's voltage law. Now let's look at the official statement of Kirchhoff's voltage law. It states that in any closed circuit, the algebraic sum of all the EMFs and voltage drop in resistor is equal to zero. Let's read it again. In any closed circuit, the algebraic sum of all the EMFs and voltage drop in the resistor is equal to zero. Now again, a few words in this statement are really, really important. One is this closed circuit, really important. It is applicable for closed circuit. So that, that is the reason why the word closed circuit should be there in the statement. And the other word that which is very, very important is the algebraic. Now, why algebraic that I have already explained you in the previous video. So you can also say that the sum of EMFs is equals to sum of voltage drop in the closed circuit. So that is nothing but the Kirchhoff's voltage law. Now, the important factor in Kirchhoff's voltage is law is that the signs, whether you label a EMF as positive or negative, that is really important. Because if you label it wrongly, you may get incorrect results. And many of the people get confused into how to assign the signs. So let me quickly share you a quick trick to remember how to assign, uh, assign the signs 
correctly while using the Kirchhoff's voltage law. So as you can see in the image, we have staircase and on that staircase, a person is climbing. So this stair right here is the lowest stair what we have and this stair is the higher stair what we have. So this person is going up, right? The person is going from the lower stair to the topmost stairs. Now if I have to say it in the technical language, I will say this person is going from lower potential to the higher potential, right? That means he is rising. He is going from lower step to the higher step. That means he is rising. Again, in the technical language, I will say he is going from lower potential to higher potential. That means there is a potential rise. That person is rising. And whenever there is a potential rise, we label uh, that as positive. And in similar way, if that person is going down, that means he is going from the topmost stair to the lower stair, uh, that means he is falling down. In technical language, I will say that person is going from higher potential to the lower potential. That means there is a fall in potential. And in such case, it should be labeled as negative because it is falling. It, he is coming from the, uh, let's say the top stair to the bottom stair. That means he is falling and that should be labeled as negative. Whenever you go from higher potential to lower potential, it should be labeled as negative negative right so the statement is a rise in potential should be considered as positive again you have to remember the staircase example lower stair to the topmost stair is rise so it should be labeled as positive and on the other hand fall in potential is considered as negative that means if you're going from the top stair to the bottom stair you're falling and that is fall in potential and that's why it should be labeled as negative right clear now let's look at how you how to label the emfs so on the left hand side uh, we have two points a and b and we are going from point a to point b now here you can see the lower uh, line here represents let's say the lower stair and the upper line represents the topmost stair so that means you are going from a to b that means you are going from lower potential to the higher potential right so that is a rise in potential and in this case you should label this as positive there is a rise in here and similarly on the right hand side you can see we are going from point b to point a that means from the topmost stair to the bottom stair or in technical language from the higher potential to the lower potential and therefore this should be labeled as negative clear this is about EMF, how you can label the EMF. Always remember the staircase example that will make things easy for you. Now let's look at how to label the uh, voltage drop in the resistor. Now in this case, the direction of current comes into picture. That is really important. You must know the direction of current in order to uh, label the potential drop in the resistor. So in the left hand side register, you can see current is flowing from point B to point A, right? And we are going opposite to the direction of current. We are going from A to B, whereas current is flowing from B to A. Now we know a very basic thing that current flows from higher potential to lower potential. Or in the simple language, I will say it flows from the topmost stair to the bottom stair, right? So that makes the point B as the higher potential and point A as lower potential, right? Because current is flowing from B to A and we are going opposite to that. That means we are going from the lower potential to the higher potential. And that is why the left hand side potential drop should be labeled as positive. Clear? The direction of current is really important here. It's a key. So make sure you know the direction of current and on the right hand side image, the current is flowing from A to B. That means A is the higher potential and B is the lower potential. And we are also going from A to B. That means we are also going from higher potential to the lower potential. That means the topmost stair to the bottom stair. And that means it is fall in potential. 
and fall in potential is always labeled as negative right clear understood this is very very easy you just have to remember the staircase example and you will never be wrong in labeling the potential drops or even the emfs right so i hope that is clear to you now let's quickly summarize this video in any closed circuit the algebraic sum of all the emfs and voltage drops in resistor is equal to 0 again few words in this statement is really important never miss that while writing uh, that is closed circuit and the algebraic sum very very important you can also write this statement as the sum of emfs in the closed circuit is equal to sum of voltage drop in the closed circuit they that the meaning of both this statement is one and the same and a rise in potential should be considered as positive and fall in potential is considered as negative always remember the staircase example while giving the signs to the potential drop or the emfs that will make things easy for you so that's all for this video guys i hope this is clear to you now